Hey guys, welcome back to fmhtutorials.com. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you get yourself subscribed to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash ADSR Tuts. Uh, today we're starting a new feature on FM8 and for the rest of this month we're going to be looking at making funk step sounds using FM8 and kind of processing these sounds a bit as well. And so you kind of had that loop playing there, with this bass sound, I'm going to show you how to make an FM8 and also look at some of the kind of automation quick access in Logic to assign controllers to control parameters inside FM8. So at the moment I've got the cutoff frequency assigned to a controller here and also I've got this envelope amount here for the filter envelope assigned to a controller which is just quite a nice way for just recording some bit more human-like automation into your tracks. So let's start off by creating a new sound in FM8 and build this bass sound and then look at the kind of articulations that were created with this bass sound. So go for a new sound here. Let's program this operator section first. I'm going to start off with operator F. Go 0.5 on the ratio. Parabol waveform. And key sync this waveform. Root this operator into the filter. Turn on the filter. And yeah, we're going to root it through at full volume. And so next up operator E, turn that on and we're just going to feed this into F. So at the moment we've just got this kind of parabole, a bit like a sine wave but there's kind of an extra harmonic on the parabole. Push the cutoff up for now and the resonance down just so we can hear the, the sound a bit cleaner. So yeah, we're going to feed E into F at 32 and operator E, going to change to 0.25 on the ratio and the waveform is going to be a 1 plus 5 it's kind of like a saw with another extra harmonic added to it, key sync this invert it as well, so it's reversing the waveform and let's feed it into itself at 20 so next up operator D 0.25 on the ratio Waveform is going to be a 4 4 man that's going to add quite a nice amount of sort of bite and raspiness to the sound. Key sync this and obviously turn it on. Route this straight to the filter at full volume. You can hear that operator now and just feed it into itself as well. And that's kind of bringing the sort of kind of higher frequencies out in the sound now. And finally, operator C, turn that on and I'm going to keep the ratio at 1 and we're going to go for this 1 plus 2 plus 3 saw key synced again and this is just going to root for operator D at kind of 17 sounds pretty nice just again it's just kind of boosting those kind of mids and high mids so let's move to the master section next uh, monophonic bass sound take the detune off and just a little bit of digital 21 So let's move over to envelopes next. Okay, so quite simple envelopes really. Just going to link all these envelopes together F through to C and just drag the release out a bit. And just so it's kind of nice clean sort of tail and just the attack as well. Just back that off real kind of slightly. So it's kind of taking the transient off the sound a little bit really just by backing that attack off more interesting envelope is going to be used on the filter to create that sort of a quite nice shape on the sound so moving to the filter section for now I'm going to take the cutoff down to about a quarter so 15 push the resonance up to about 67 and the mode uh, all the way to the left is a low pass and all the way to the right is high pass so about halfway it's, going to, it's kind of like a bandpass filter basically now and um, the routing can stay the same and then filter 2 just push the resonance up to 50 and then let's send this filter to this filter envelope here turning that amount up to about 67 69 should do and then let's set this envelope down here so we want to tempo sync this envelope and just back this attack right off So 
So maybe to the 4 over 4, let's back it off there. And I'm just going to slope this attack kind of phase as well. So just have it a little bit more curved. And we can check the mode to fix now so we don't affect this kind of this the timing of this envelope and just drag the release out so with this riff playing okay so one final thing to look at is the effects and just the overdrive really tone up to full bass can stay at halfway and just increase this drive to about 66 67 so we've got a nice bass sound and we've got our riff playing here so and you can see the kind of modulation I've got here so by default in FM8 we have this vibrato set up on the mod wheel so it's kind of an LFO being sent to the pitch and hit a key and then hit the modulation wheel we get that vibrato which is quite cool so on this MIDI kind of sequence we've got playing here look at this I've got this modulation just applied to the riff so it's just quite a nice articulation just a bit of variation with the sound and on the sustained notes you're getting that that vibrato effect which is just kind of adding that sort of funk flavor to it really um, and another thing we've got going on here is some automation so with this LFO both the modulation amount being sent to so the LFO being sent to the pitch and also the rate is kind of increasing on this second sustain note here and I've just set up some automation LFO1 rate in here and the LFO, the pitch modulation LFO1 here so you're getting that nice kind of variation and I mean I find the automation in FM8 is a bit fiddly because when you look at FM8 how many parameters you have there's a possibility of automating all these parameters which is just insane trying to find the parameter that you want to automate so what I do with Logic you'll be able to do similar kind of things really with Ableton Live or FL Studio if I want to set up an automation channel using FM8 so if I delete this automation here take the display off and we want to so we want to automate this right here and this read here this read on the every channel has this option this is kind of rel relative to the automation so at the moment it's on read automation if I take it to latch hit play I don't even need to move the rate just click on this rate controller here and it's brought up the channel which is just a much quicker way for me to find which parameter I want to automate in FMA without going through this extensive list of options so it's brought up LFO1 rate to automate change it back to read and just kind of draw that sort of rise in again okay so that's sounding pretty cool we can delete this now and just copy this MIDI part over so we've got our riff playing here and one final thing I wanted to show you was the kind of automation quick access so so I find when you're kind of automating tracks if you can just assign some controllers rather than you know a lot of I mean we've got some programmed automation going on there but if we can assign some controllers to control the filter cut off and the resonance maybe just get a bit more of an organic sort of sound you you'll, you'll automate stuff in a different way if you're programming it in with with your kind of mouse and stuff it's a bit more robotic I guess if you're just kind of assigning controllers you'll automate stuff in a way that you wouldn't do otherwise so what I've done here is the cutoff frequency and this envelope amount I've got controllers assigned to them here so
So that's pretty cool. And in Logic, the way it's set up is, say if we have our parameters here, what we do is go track, track automation, automation quick access, and assign. And then if I just get FM8 back up, click on say this resonance, and then click on, on a controller, and it's assigned now. And you need to make sure actually that when I loaded up the automation quick access, this box appeared. And just make sure you hit done there. So now we've got one controller for the cutoff, one for the envelope amount, and one for the resonance. So we can kind of play through our loop. And go. So yeah, quite a nice way of just assigning some controllers and just having that kind of, I don't know, more sort of improvised approach to kind of laying down some sounds in your tracks. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Uh, make sure you come and check us out for part two in this series. We're going to be looking at making some more funk step sounds in FM8. And yeah, make sure you go and check out the FM8 Tutorials forum, fm8tutorials.com. Tons of more tutorials on FM8 on there. And yeah, thanks for watching. Alright, cheers. Bye.